Hello everybody <laughs> It's me again and welcome back to another episode of Hall of Thebes Absolute Beginner's Guide to Minecraft <laughs> um, I'm just moved out here a little bit I'm just gonna show you a few things today on simple building okay I've been doing a bit of smelting and collecting and we're just getting a few bits and pieces ready to do a bit of building and a suit up here uh, ready for any visitors uh, I have stone here if you don't know how to make stone which you probably don't at the moment a couple of those turning cobblestone back into the stone that you got the cobblestone from <laughs> so you mine stone to get cobblestone and then you cook it up and it gives you stone you get clay from clay blocks you'll find it maybe in the bottom of water, I know there's water over here you might find it in the water over there you just come along with your shovel give it a smack and you get the clay balls uh, you can remake it by putting down four and getting clay block again uh, or you can put it in a furnace <coughs> cook it up and get brick take the brick make bricks the red brick okay like that so let me just show you what that looks like as a building material well hey why all the furnace well saves time if you want to place one on top of the other you just hold left shift and click because <coughs> of course if you click you're just going to open it <coughs> and cold um, split that into if you right click it it just keeps splitting it down put eight in each and that will give a, a full stack of whatever we're going to cook sand if you smelt sand which you get near water or in a desert uh, the desert over there you will get glass very handy Okay, <clears throat> so this is just some of the building products that you will need for building. First off, on your first night, if you're in a grassland area, these plains need somewhere safe. Best thing to do is just find yourself a spot and dig down. never dig straight down as you could fall you know under your feet you could fall into a cave or into lava not a good idea don't forget to torch your way uh, this would be deep enough you could open it out into a small little area you could do this at night time and close yourself in it's the best uh, time to do it because you can gather resources during the day okay, and you could put in your workbench and uh, put in a furnace and you could be digging and working away at night so that's your first shelter and you would close yourself in just by blocking it up and you're safe a little hidey hole and you can expand it as you go but remember to close yourself in <laughs> you leave it open during the day if you want and while you're out and about leave some visual clue that you've been here and how to get back to it pillar up and you're wondering how to pillar up I'll show you Take your building block of choice, point it at the ground, get ready to right click, pressing space, so it's space to jump up and then right click to place. Space to jump up, right click, jump, right click, jump, right click, jump, right click, and you just hold down both and you'll get a... Wow! I don't know, this place is getting noisier by the day. There you go. 
and you're up. Now you can put a torch on top. Now, if you've good armor, you can take that fall damage. Ah, uh, if not, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend doing a double pillar. One, two, one, two, one. Okay. Then you could leave this pillar up and knock this one down. Okay. Something like that. Okay, that just gives you a visual reference as to where you are when you're out and about. And you can go, okay, this, my hidey hole is here. Three across the bottom, three wool on top, bed. Excellent. Now, you can put your bed in your hidey hole. You'll need room for it. It's a bit cramped, so we will make a little bit more room. All the while you're picking up more resources, so you've got the vein of coal. Now, we'll just put our bed here. And I don't like it too close to the wall. I like room to respawn around the side of it. Because you are setting your spawn here now. If you get in, you can only sleep at night. Okay, excellent. So now we have our first little home, and it's getting close to night. We can go in and sleep in there before the baddies come, unless, of course, you want to fight. But when you're building, fighting kind of takes up a lot of your time. Sorry for munging in your face. Right click the bed, sleep. Now, not only are you passing the night away in peace, but if it was raining, you would stop it raining, resetting the weather, <coughs> and uh, you reset your spawn. So you no longer spawn at spawn, you spawn where your bed is. Unless it's broken, and then you will spawn back at natural spawn. So that's our first hidey hole. Let's have a look at something else we could build. Let's just clear the ground here a bit. The next basic thing is to place down just maybe dirt blocks. Okay, you know how to place a block, you just pick your spot, hide it with your crosshair, right click with the block of choice in your hand, and that's simply how you do it. Build on top of it. You can jump up. That jumping up is going to come in handy. Uh, again. Now you are just a little under two blocks high, so you need a two block high gap at the very least to, to get into a place. Like so, but it's kind of cramped. And a torch. Now you've got a simple mud hut. Uh, no door. You could always just walk in and out and do that. Not very aesthetically pleasing. You could put a door on it. I'll show you how to make a door. Take some wood. Do this shape here. Six planks. And you'll get three doors. Now there are different doors with the different woods. Now if you click here it will go on the outside like so and right click to open it, right click to close it or if you click this side it will go on the inside. It's a shelter, it will keep you safe. The only thing about it is if you're playing on hard the zombies that are on the outside will come and break your door down to get into you. Right click, right click, right click, right click. Um, if you hold it down while pressing S to go backwards, it'll just do it quicker for you. Okay. Alrighty. 
Actually, um, I want to go one more. I could have left that there. This on it. Yeah. Okay. Nice and central. Okay. Nice and central. But I don't like too central. I like it different. <laughs> okay. Now we could just keep building up the cobble. Okay. Or we could try to make something a little bit different by using some wood. Okay, like so. Ooh, getting fancy now. Hmm. So we want to bring this over. Okay, <clears throat> and we're going to break down all of this into planks, and we're going to. Place a few of these around the place. We're making our doorway here. Okay. So you can walk in here. Have a little room. Okay, it's not a very big place at the moment. But we're not worried about that. Okay. So there's that. Now, you could have a flat roof, you could make some uh, half slabs, uh, the oak wood slab here, uh, it's three on the bottom, and they, you get six for that. You would want to make yourself some kind of scaffold, so maybe some dirt is the best way to do that. Maybe we shall make a staircase up. Okay, now we can get to our roof more accessibly. Ah, look at that! Okay, a little flat roof. Or, you could make yourself some stairs. Which is that way. A diagonal shape taking up one, two, three, four, five, six. Stairs then, a little bit more tricky. And here's where your left shift uh, it comes in handy so you don't fall off the edge. See that? You can hover over the edge and not fall off by holding left shift. And <coughs> see the way that doesn't connect? That's because that's a half slab and it's taking up a full block space. So I will go there. I don't want it to fit there though. Or that there. Whee! But we could take that one out. And uh, give ourselves some height. Go up another. And if we place it here on the bottom, it will give us that edge. If I point it up towards the top of that lock, it would place it that way. Okay. So you have to kind of be a little bit careful as to where you're placing your blocks. Let's take this out. If I place it here at the edge, I'm just going to jump up and place it. You will see that it will give an edge. It will go around. So that gives it a nice shape around the edge. Let me just take these off all together. And get rid of the dirt. And continue this. Now you see it hasn't got the edge shape, but if I place the one here, it automatically corrects it. Okay. Oh, see the way that turned that, and if I place the next one here, it will keep that turn. So you have to be careful of the angle that you place. Where did that one go? Okay. <clears throat> so try to keep straight on with it, as straight as you can. Okay. Until you come to the actual corners then you can not worry because it will wrap around and that's the desired effect you want. Let's put our door in for the crack. So put the same door. I'm going to put them in the inside. I like them more on the inside instead of it being flat at the front. 
Now that looks a bit ugly, so what you could do is you could come along here and hit the top and go that way, give it a bit of a canopy, or because the stairs are going the other way. Can hit the bottom of this blob and give it a lower canopy like this that continues the same uh, slant in your roof. Okay, so what happens when you get up to here and you want to place your next stair here to slant up and you can't place it. It places up, oh, it places upside down. Well, you could use that to build on, like so, or you could take a dirt block and put it there, like so, and pop it, your roof on top, like that. And then you can break that one. But just remember to pick it up because it will fall. The dirt you can pick up again later. And you just continue to, you can strafe along and do it that way. Now, when you're building, you have a choice of wanting let me see it to come together like this so you have to kind of plan ahead your build oh <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so much for planning ahead okay just gonna get rid of this dirt scaffolding We can have a better look at our house. So that's your standard roof. Okay. I know it's small, but it gives you the idea. Well, <laughs> just be careful of the direction you're hitting those steps in, make sure they're on the bottom if that's the way you want it. Okay, now as we did smelt up some glass, we might as well use it, isn't that it? Okay, now you've got a choice of glass block or glass pane. Now when you place a glass block, unless you've got silk touch, you'll not get it back break okay now we're going to use panes to go a little further and you want to take six glass blocks pop them together like that and you'll get 16 glass panes like so and then place right click right click and then you see that they join up like that otherwise they're just like that okay that's a big window a bit of exaggeration does the job there you go Got a little home. Great view <laughs> of nothing but trees for your back garden. But it's a simple little house. And that's how we're doing simple little buildings. From that to that. Okay, maybe a bit of a jump. But you get the idea. You do start off with some kind of framework. You could literally rebuild this in a different block. Come along and say, you know, I think that that would actually be nice with a bit of birch. Yeah, using the yeah, I like that. Or maybe instead going with I have none. Okay, might suit it that way. Or you might come and say, I want a floor not made of grass. And you would put down maybe your slabs. You can also place it down there, but you don't want that. You want to keep it up at the top. Okay, because if you do place it down there, 
when you come to place your, your furniture let's just say you had them all down there and you want to place your furniture as in your crafting table oh it ends up hovering over the floor so you have to keep that in mind that's quite a high ceiling and say you can take your dirt block down from earlier I know it's narrow and all but you can adjust to your liking if you don't like the high ceiling you could have I got any more stairs? no! <laughs> my bench is gone Ah! <laughs> okay, pop that down here. I have stairs! <laughs> now you can turn them the other way around. Well, I'll just let them out. Nah. <laughs> Make sure you hit the top. Okay, that see gives it a better feel. No, not as high, not as square. Take a look around. You know whether you like it or not. Maybe some of the grass. You could even there's no bones. There's some bones. We could bone the other grass around it, or we could go along. Build the shears, make a shears, build one, make a shears like this. Okay, do that. Pop over here to the trees. Left click. And you could decorate some leaf blocks. Just make it look a little bit more homely. in different types of leaf block and uh, mix it up a bit just right click them surface lava pop a few flowers down like so or different types of ones whichever you want use an idea Ta -da! beautiful that's the going from that to that to this you know it, it just works a little better we'll light up a little bit around here and we can go inside and be safe <laughs> this is the narrowest house I've ever built <laughs> ah, it's cool though. <laughs> Mm, I could just pace up and down all night. <laughs> but you could work in here at night, or you could, if you brought your bed in. Where's my bed? Is my bed down here? Wait right before you come in. One guy. Now then you can put your bed in this very tight spot uh, and sleep. Let's have a look at some different blocks. So if you take smooth stone and you put it in your crafting bench and you do that shape, three on the bottom, or anywhere like that, you'll get six stone slabs. Okay? Just like so. Like that. Okay. If you take your smooth stone and try to make a stairs, I am afraid you cannot get any. There is no smooth stone stairs. If you take four smooth stone, whoops, <clears throat> and I'll just, just in case you're wondering, yeah, you get stone bricks. I'll do that. Our house is in the way, it's spoiling it. I'm gonna put it here. Um, okay, 
stone brick. You can get stone brick and make stone half slabs. And pop that there. And you, whoop! <laughs> Beg your pardon. You can also uh, make stairs. Same recipe. Stairs. Okay. And we'll pop that there. Now, likewise, you can do the same with cobblestone. The slab, the stairs with oak wood, slab stairs with birch, slab stairs with all the different tree types. So, same recipe for slabs and stairs. Okay. And they're handy to have for builds. Different types, you can use brick. Now, if you remember earlier, we had these bricks, and if we put them in like this, as I showed you, you get these. Wow. Okay, slabs, stairs, slab, <laughs> stairs. <laughs> ah, okay, so same recipe, same shapes, different materials, and as I say, it work with all the different wood types so we're okay there different story here you don't have slabs or stairs in any of these there are decorative stone uh, you can do this however and get polished a polished version of it okay like that Slightly different texture. <laughs> Slightly different texture. <laughs> uh, same with this. I don't know why I threw those away, not the one. Okay. And again, same with this. Well, I didn't mean to make them all, but there they are. Okay. So you get the idea. They have only. Well, you tweet. Yum yums. So you've got the regular variety and the polished variety of these diorite, andesite, and granite. You have got your regular stone, which you make into stone brick, which will break down into stone brick slabs and stairs. Uh, a slab only for the stone. The cobble will have the slab and the staircase. And the rest of them all have the slab and the staircase as well there. Okay. Because of the lines and texture. It's very hard to make out which block is which. Break it up. You've got a little, tiny little hole. Slightly different. Maybe you want some cobble in it. Now, another thing you can make with cobble if I have any, yeah. If you do this, you've got a cobblestone wall. Like that, with a pillar, you could make a pillar. Or, once you put an, one next to it, it joins up, makes a little wall. And the longer it goes, the longer that part is, and the end will always have this little section here. If you wanted that little high raised section in the middle, you can always stick a torch on it, or go around the back, add a bit to the back of it, and that will give you the rays as well. Okay, now you can see it better. And also join that to the wall for more decoration or different relief. Okay, we'll just pop that there, pop that there, take this off, open it up, you can see, you can use for a different type of decoration. Torch will, however, go on top of your fence, whether it's on its own or fixed. It will not go on top of a slab or stairs. Okay. They will, however, go on top of the block. You can even 
put one on top of your workbench if you hold left shift. <laughs> uh, that's the whole thing about building in Minecraft. It's really down to the, the individual styles and tastes of what you want. It's a matter of really playing around with every brick you can find, every block you can find, and seeing what happens. Ugh. Seeing what that ha what happens um, when you put them together. <laughs> hmm. You can make a fence, iron bars. Beg your pardon. Iron bars. They can have them for decoration like that, or like that they join together. You see. The best way to look up that's one way and then on top we can make a kind of an antenna but once you start joining to the side they go funny <laughs> take a pumpkin put a torch underneath it get a jack-o-lantern pop a light source and a decoration you can make carpet by two pieces of wool no matter what color they are and wham three pieces of carpet and you can hide your lighting under the floors with your carpet I'll bring that into the house for the crack and show you let's take here take this piece out pop in our pumpkin jack-o-lantern pop our carpet down there and uh, Take our lights out, and it's still not too dark. And sleep. No, we're gonna leave the bed. <laughs> you can leave the bed and keep it night. Uh, that's basically it. A little more in decoration. Oh, I just thought of something else. <laughs> Light your bucket. One, two, three. Flower pot. Excellent. Let's get a flower. I think we put some in here. Uh, I thought I had flowers. Yeah. Oxide in honor of beef. <laughs> um, let's decorate our little home here. Pop down our flower pot and right click your flower. There you go. Very good. Smelt a clay block. To get hardened clay, now you can get hardened clay from a biome called a mesa, and it has colourful clay. And you can also dye this clay as well with with dyes. So that's that's a hardened clay block, and that's a clay block. Okay, so that's quite soft. That's hard. So as well as dyeing clay and the glass, you can also dye wool. You can dye the sheep and get the wool off them that color. Um, do I have any gravel? I don't think I have any gravel. No, I was just gonna say you could mix. You can mix in gravel to your build. Just play around with different things. Uh, we we'll get into this more as you go on a more of a advanced building episode maybe but this is just to give you a, a rough idea of different blocks and playing around with them okay hope that helps <laughs> ah there's a bad moon on the rise thanks very much for watching another episode of the absolute beginner's guide to minecraft i'm paul of thebes and uh, tune in next time when we do something completely different <laughs> Or not. All the best. Bye. What's this guy got? A shovel? Bringing me a shovel. See that? I have lovely neighbors. I'm only here and the guys are bringing me shovels. Didn't drop it though. <laughs> okay, doke. Thanks everybody. <laughs> Sorry for that little uh, interruption. <laughs> All the best. Away again. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Ah. Ah.
Excuse me. Excuse me. That's my dart. Hit the legs. Hit the legs. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. See, we've got an ender pearl. <laughs> and he took that dirt from there. Isn't he bold? And there are none to replace it. Oh. Hey, piggy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I see something fun. Yeah. Oh, hello. No swimming. Ender pearl. If oh no, we'll just show you this. Let me see. Uh, actually, we should have done it from out here. Hold an ender pearl. Not really safe to do this, so we've no feather falling boots on. So you'll notice the damage that I will take. Watch my hearts after this. Uh, I'm just going to right click it about there. Throw it. Wee. See that? You teleport. Well, that's not too bad. Two and a half hearts of damage. Teleport. Just like the Endermen do. I hope you've enjoyed that. <laughs> A bit of extra fun. See you in the next one.